factors affecting chemical shift we know very well the meaning of chemical shift means where the proton is actually showing its signal in nmr spectroscopy the position of the nmr signal is affected by other factors so which factors actually affecting the position of nmr signal that we are going to discuss in this video first factor is inductive effect you know there are two types of inductive effect one is minus i effect when electron withdrawing group is present in the molecule means because of electronegativity that group actually withdrawing electron density away from the molecule in minus i effect in another inductive effect we call it as a plus i effect where the electron donating group is present which is actually donating electron density to the molecule so if the compound having electron withdrawing group we call it as a minus i group because that group is removing electron density and the groups which are electron donating are called plus i groups because they are donating electron density to the molecule here i have written two points electron withdrawing group d shield the adjacent proton d shield d shield means making that proton more uh more exposed to the applied magnetic field so electron withdrawing group if electron withdrawing group is present in the molecule adjacent proton means where that group is attached actually d shielded and you know d shielded means its nmr signal or the nmr signal of that proton will shift towards down field down field means away from tms tetramethyl silane again another meaning is such proton will show the nmr signal at more del value when when there is a d shielding and this d shielding is because of minus i group you observe which group is present in the molecule and do accordingly if opposite to this if electron donating group which is also called plus i group shields the adjacent proton where that group is attached that carbon having protons are actually shielded they are shielded from external magnetic field because electron density is is moving from that group to the proton and that protons are actually shielded shielded means they are less exposed to the external magnetic field and if you want to bring that proton into resonance for nmr signal we need to increase the applied magnetic field if you are increasing the applied magnetic field b0 then the value will be close toward the tms and you know when the signal is moving toward the tms its del value is less so less del value this is another uh, effect one more thing both electron donating and electron withdrawing group as they are moving away from the adjacent carbon or from the proton then the effect of these groups are uh, actually decrease so you can uh, you can imagine very well now see i have taken here one example where methane if methane there is no electron withdrawing group or atom so you can check its del value just 0.2 ppm 0.2 ppm means close to the tms all protons are highly shielded now when one cl is attached one cl is attached you know cl is electron withdrawing atom or group because of more electronegativity that means the whole electron density is now shifted towards cl so these three protons are more exposed to the applied magnetic field that means because of this cl these protons are d shielded d shielded means value of its nmr signal actually moving toward the more del value you can change you can see here 0.2 it is shifting from 0.2 to 3 that means away from tms now we are just joining two more electron withdrawing group you can check the value 5.3 ppm means still it is shifted towards the down field now if here if there are three 
electron withdrawing group means that minus i effect is more there in this molecule and you can check the value its value is around 7.1 ppm means still shifted towards downfield because of that we get value at more del value so this is the inductive effect which is affecting the chemical shift isotropic effect after inductive effect we have to consider the anisotropic effect and this is the effect of induced magnetic field you check here effect of induced magnetic field which induced magnetic field which is generated due to the circulation of pi electrons so there must be a double or triple bond present in the molecule for anisotropic effect because these pi electrons are circulating under the influence of external magnetic field and generating a magnetic field or secondary magnetic field that secondary magnetic field actually shielding or de shielding the protons present in the molecule and accordingly the del value or accordingly the position of the signal nmr signal of that proton is shifted either to a downfield or upfield that is called anisotropic effect so what is anisotropic effect the effect of induced magnetic field generated due to circulation of pi electrons on the shielding and de shielding of the proton in presence of external magnetic field is called anisotropic effect very clear but the this anisotropic effect actually depend on the orientation taken by the molecule i have taken here three molecules with their orientation in applied magnetic field acetylene or the compound having triple bond taking this orientation this is the direction of applied magnetic field and in the influence of external magnetic field these protons are uh, these electrons pi electrons are actually circulating in this direction and they are generating secondary magnetic field which is called induced magnetic field the the direction of induced magnetic field is actually perpendicular to the direction of circulation of the electron so we can see here this is the induced magnetic field which i have shown by using a dotted line and the proton is lying here in this orientation now the direction of applied magnetic field you can check here and the direction of secondary ma magnetic field which is also called induced magnetic field these two directions are opposite to each other that means induced magnetic field opposing external magnetic field opposing external magnetic field means these protons are shielded these protons are shielded from the external magnetic field and if you want to bring this proton into resonance we need to increase the applied magnetic field and if you are increasing the applied magnetic field the signal nmr signal for this proton is shifted up up field up field means towards uh, close to the tms means lesser del value so you can check here the del value for this proton is around 2.5 ppm means it is close to the tms so this orientation you have to consider for acetylene and you have to circulate this pi uh, pi electrons in this direction and perpendicular to this to this you have to draw a induced magnetic field then check the direction of induced magnetic field and the applied magnetic field if they are opposing if they are opposite to each other this proton are this protons are actually shielded and because of that their del value is lesser or shifted towards the tms towards the uphill region now i am taking about uh, taking another example alkene where pi bond is present i have consider here a uh, ethylene or you can consider any alkene molecule where double bond is present now orientation it takes this kind of orientation now this pi electrons are circulating in this direction and the secondary magnetic field is generated perpendicular to this now you can check this is a proton and this is the direction of applied magnetic field you check the these two directions are toward the same side i mean toward same same direction and because of this this induced magnetic field and external magnetic fields are added added means reinforcing 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 means these protons are exposed or these protons are de shielded if they are de shielded these protons are actually feeling more magnetic field 
because induced magnetic field and applied magnetic field added together so these two fields are added together here two fields are actually subtracted so these two fields are added to the, together means uh, this is called reinforcing and protons are de shielded so if you want to bring this proton into resonance we need to decrease this applied magnetic field decrease means down field down field means greater del value and you can check for alkenes del value or the signals for proton is ranging from 4.5 to 6 ppm it, which is much much more greater than the previous case so you can see the if a anisotropic effect easily you can demark here you can identify here in case of acetylene and alkene now where the more pi bonds present benzene where 6 pi electrons means obviously this induced magnetic field will be more because these are circulating in this direction and this is the direction of applied or induced magnetic field this is the direction of applied magnetic field now you check this this two directions are same means these two uh, magnetic field induced magnetic field which is also called secondary magnetic field and applied magnetic field added together so obviously this protons feeling more uh, magnetic field and if you want to bring this protons into resonance i forgot to join here one more yet uh, resonance we need to decrease this applied magnetic field and if you are decreasing applied magnetic field the signal will automatically shift towards down field and because of that you can see here d shielding effect d shielding effect means more del value so del value is for benzene or benzenes different derivatives of benzene you can see here it is from 6.5 to 8 ppm so you get nmr signal in this range so in this way anisotropic effect is actually shielding or de shielding the proton and accordingly their chemical shift is uh, occurred thank you